Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. Today we're going to play with stencils. I'm going to show you four quick and easy ways to use stencils and inks. But first I want to kind of show you how I have my stencils organized. I'm using a 12 by 12 scrapbook. I used to have my stencils in a box stacked up and they were really hard to access and see. They were always getting caught on each other and I saw this idea on Rosemary's You Rock Art as an option for storing stencils and I find that I'm using my stencils more because I can easily find them by paging through this album. So if you want to find a new way to organize your stencils, this might be one that you want to try. So I'm working on a new glue book junk journal I did my first page the other day, and I've started to break the white on the page by adding doodles and stamps and things, and I wanted to do some of that with you. So the first technique I have is just ink blender through the stencil. So it looks like this when you do that. Um, this one was with the Broken China Distress Oxide, and here's one with mowed lawn. I'm going to show you one here with prize ribbon. So I've got the stencil and got pretty much a white page here and I find creating in junk journals and glue books is always more fun when you have something started on the page. So going through with stencils and ink and doodles is a way to kind of make your book kind of pre-fill it so that when you go in and add to each page, it's not as intimidating. And this is the first technique of the day. We're calling it Ink Blender Through Stencil. It's just as easy and quick as that. Now I can go in and, and do, you know, deeper, a lot brighter, or I can just keep it really, really simple like that so and of course different looks with different colors of ink now the next technique that i want to show you is really really simple you just need some water in a spray bottle we're going to simply clean this stencil there's some ink on there because i was using that ink blender and you can't even really see it but watch this. I'm going to spray this a couple times off a of camera. We're just going to put the wet side down, close it in the book. That makes a really cool design. And this design will get even cooler after I let it dry a little bit. And here's an example card of when I stenciled with the broken china and then cleaned it. It made a, a reverse image of the stencil and you're not wasting any of that ink that way. You're getting maximum use of that ink. And here's what it looks like with mowed lawn. I think I almost like the water effect better than even ink through the stencil, but both are really nice and it's nice to have that visual variety in the pages of your glue book and junk journal. Now the next technique, again, all very simple, is just spray ink through a stencil. This was done with Dilutions Ink Spray. Just spray right through the stencil. And it looks great, right? But there's so much ink on there, so we're just gonna turn it over and I could put it on a different page. We're just gonna clean that stencil off. Clean it off and get a really cool image there. But guess what? Still more ink. So we are going to clean it with water. I sprayed it off camera with water. We're just gonna go ahead and really use all of that ink. There's no reason for it to go to waste. And I bet I could even do this again. Why not, right? 
So here's my example card, the spray through the stencil, clean the spray without water, clean the spray with water, and you can even do it another time. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some fun with stencils today, and I hope you'll get your stencils out and give these simple, easy techniques a try. Have a great Mother's Day weekend, everybody. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting. If you're still watching, then this is bonus content, super secret bonus content. This is what my starter pages are looking like. I've gone through and done doodles, done my ink through stencils. I've done some spray of water. Just lots of different colors and variety in these page backgrounds. And now I can go in and add journaling, collaging, you name it. But these pages will be a lot more interesting and appealing for me to work with because there's already a little bit of something down. Here's some ladybug stamps some washi tape, lots of doodling, which is very relaxing and fun to add to pages. Here's an example of a page where I've sprayed on the stencil and cleaned it off on that page. Some more of that where I've cleaned the stencil off. This is the one we did earlier in this video where I went through the stencil and then cleaned it off with water. So you get the general idea here, and I love the creative process and having kind of some interesting background ready to go on these pages when I start filling the journal. If you stuck around for this bonus content, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear from you. I try to reply to all the comments people leave me. They make my day. Happy paper crafting, everyone.